boasting 150-year history, the Club and Institutes Union is the largest non-profit-making social, entertainment and leisure organisation in the country. There were less than 700 cinemas in the UK, but nearly 2,500 working men's clubs. 4% of the British population are members of a working men's club. That's 2.5 million people. I've been a member since 1940, and I've practically grown up into this club. Clubs offer a huge range of activities. There's snooker, billiards, bowls, cribbage, dominoes, quiz nights, bingo nights, live music, comedy, variety, and darts. Some even organise social activities for members, including golf and fishing. Working men's clubs up and down the country employ 25,000 staff. They pay out £150 million in wages every year. Members also raise £1.5 million for charity every year. But many working men's clubs, once the centre of the community, are now in decline. 60% of clubs have been forced to close since the 1970s. The remaining clubs have seen their membership halved in the last 20 years and a quarter of those are in financial difficulty. If membership continues to dwindle at the same rate, clubs will be extinct by 2025. One thing we, we do suffer really is not enough young members. If it closed, yeah, we, we wouldn't have anywhere else to dance, would we? The closure of a club doesn't just tear the heart out of a community, it also cuts off one important route for live entertainers to learn their craft. The list of famous entertainers who started out working the club circuit is huge. Among them, Tom Jones, Engelbert Humperdinck, Lenny Henry, Russell Watson, Boothby Graffo, and The Hours. But if working men's clubs are about one thing, it's this, beer. Britain's working men's clubs take a staggering five billion pounds a year over the bar. That's the equivalent of each member drinking three pints of beer a day. Cheers.